UConn appears to be heading back to the Big East for basketball, other sports. UConn's Jalen Adams hopes to hear his name called during the NBA draft. UConn is heading back to the Big East. An NCAA source has confirmed a report from late Friday night by DigitalSportsDesk.com that said end, ostensibly, other sports. The one hold up is, but the school remains completely committed to football, with zero intention of dropping it, according to a source. According to, UConn's addition to the Big East will likely be announced this upcoming week. CBS Sport, it would seem unlikely that UConn's current residence, the American Athletic Conference, would be willing to keep the Huskies and let the other sports leave. That would mean UC UConn's official response to the report It is our responsibility to always be mindful of what is in the best interest of our student-athletes, our fans, and our future. With that being said, a Big East official issued a no-comment. UConn never actually left the Big East. The conference that, that left UConn and fellow Big East members Cincinnati and South Florida, as well as a few schools which thought they were joining the Big East, such as Temple and SMU and Limbo. Big East Commissioner Mike Oresco wound up selling the rights of the Big East name, as well as use of Madison Square Garden for its championship tournament, to the so-called Catholic Seven. UConn's new league, UConn's return to the Big East will mean a reunion with old rivals like Villanova, Georgetown, Street. Johns, pro UConn officials privately fumed at the AAC's recent new TV deal, which upped each school's financial intake, though only moderately for UConn, but jeopardized the school's relationship with SNY by putting a large portion of the league's games behind the ESPN Plus paywall. It appears the AA there is little question that outgoing UConn President Susan Herbst has been actively looking into the possibility of UConn returning to the Big East. Hall of Fame Co officials from the AAC have not returned calls or texts.